Yo, what is up guys, this Switch here about to bring you the model tutorial everyone has been asking me And I'm not talking about robot models, I'm talking about clan models And uh, yeah, clan logo models, whatever you want to call them And I just call them models, but uh, yeah This is like my fourth time trying to explain this It's ridiculously hard for me to explain, I don't even know why, but it's so easy to do And uh, basically we're going to probably try to recreate what I did here uh, We're just going to do a little, little circle around, look at this a little bit of this, a little bit of that, and uh, all right, let's get started. I want to delete this one, and uh, yeah, all right. So uh, you want to go to your go to your tube. Uh, to go to your tube, go ahead and click on the cube and go tube, and we're gonna move it up a little bit and rotate it facing toward us for right now. Zoom in a little bit. And then we're gonna click on the tube. And then you want to go to your object, you see your inner, your outer, your rotation, your cap segments, your height, and your height segments. You want to go to your uh, cap segments and change uh, the number to 1 to 5. And you change your number from 1 to 5 again for your height. And basically what that did was just give you more than one selected uh, thing to do. So if you were to look right here again, look right here, change it to 1. You wouldn't be able to select as much as you would be able to with if you change it to 5. So uh, you can change it uh, to 10. But uh, you can put it up as much as you want, actually. But you don't really need to because it's unnecessary and just ridiculous. And I only use five also myself. So, uh, yeah. Now to be able to click on it. Some say all you need to do is this. That's retarded. Like, you're down, you're down, bro. You're down. Uh, you want to go ahead and click on this one, second to last one. But then still you're not going to be able to click on it until you go ahead and right-click your tube and make editable. Then you'll be able to click on uh, your tube. But besides that, you can also use your hotkey by just pressing C on your keyboard while tube is collected, collected, selected, and uh, there you go. So, uh, all right, we're ready to get started. Besides showing you a little bit more something about selecting stuff. So, uh, if you were to select, if you wanted to select more than one uh, little square, and uh, you can just hold Shift and hold, hold while holding it, still be clicking, and it'll allow you to select more than or highlight more than one thing. So let's say if you wanted to highlight this whole entire ring, this right here, this whole entire thing, you wanted to highlight this whole entire thing all the way around, but you know it's it's ridiculous to try and click on every single one to uh, to go all the way around. So you can just go ahead and click uh, UL, not click, go ahead and type UL really quickly. Not hold U because if you hold U, this comes up. Just go ahead and quickly type UL on your keyboard. It gives you this tool. You see this little square in your box or square in your mouse. So when you click on any, uh, so when you click on like one thing, and it highlights where you're gonna be clicking, and it clicks on anything that's in that same exact, uh, same exact like you know region thing where the lines separate. So yeah, there you go. If not, if you want to go back, if you were to go back to here, you only click on one little cube, and uh, U L again, and there you go. Shows you what that does. And that's going to be a lifesaver when you're doing a model and you're trying to do a speed art. Except for clicking on every single one, it's too much work. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and hold shift and click on also the... Ooh, god, hiccups. Also the other three rings around it to get started. Alright, so I'm going to be showing you what these do right here. These five tools that you easily bring up by clicking outside your model. Right click, and you see all these tools. And you want to go to your bevel, extrude, your extrude, enter, your matrix, and your smooth shift. These are the ones you're going to be using for uh, models, and uh, yeah, also you're going to be using extrude mostly when you do like if you want to go ahead and go out with models and do robots and stuff like I'm going to be trying to start doing. But that's not what this tutorial is all about. So I'm going to show you what these five uh, tools do real quick. If you want to go ahead and click on bevel, my voice like kind of cracked right there. That was really weird. And uh, yeah, as you can see, uh, it gives you the. Uh, it's really hard to explain, but you, as you can see, it gives you the rounded. Like a, a rounded circular type of motion, it's not type of motion, type of like texture. Besides, when you go to your extrude, what this does is just, just pulls whatever's selected out, just like so. And uh, make sure one thing I forgot to explain in the beginning is this is not what you're going to be using. This is not what pulls anything out. This is what just moves everything. To uh, you know, use your tool, you're just going to be clicking outside, not selecting this. You're going to be clicking outside. And just clicking right, uh, left clicking, and either dragging your mouse left or dragging it out right. Right is out, left is in, just like so. Don't you use this because you're not gonna go anywhere with that. So, uh, yeah, our next tool is extrude inner. 
what this does is uh, basically you can cut wherever you want selected and uh, as you can see I'll show you real quick I'm just doing basic extrude as you can see whatever selected is being moved so extrude inner you go ahead and now uh, cut that in half basically now this whole entire cube is not selected and only this is what selected is going to be moving so hopefully I explained that well enough for you extrude inner is like a really cool thing you can do you can do like a little step effect by just doing this extrude inner go ahead and go halfway in between and uh, smooth shift it out or extrude it out go ahead and extrude it out as you can see extrude it out go ahead and do inner again extrude it out again inner again extrude it out again you can do this as many times as you want you can make a little step effect a uh, little steps as you can see as you can see that I'm sure you can do that you can see that you can see that all right, so we're gonna go back. And our next tool is the matrix, as you see me probably use most of the time. And uh, matrix is the uh, little, uh, this, this is what that is. As you can see, you can mess around with your steps. Your steps is uh, basically how many layers. As you can see, there's one, two, three, four, five layers and the steps. If I pull it down, it'll be four, three, two, one, and then none. So uh, yeah, make sure your steps is where you want it. You want to basically have between the number six and five, or five or eight between those numbers. And uh, yeah, you can. This is basically where a lot of the magic happens, quote unquote. And you can just move around your settings. As you can see, you're probably not gonna be moving around this one too much. Besides when you pull it out. Yeah, no, no pun intended there. So we're gonna put that to zero. Maybe pull it up a little bit. But uh, yeah. This is what moves it, gives you that little razor type of effect, as you can see. If I put it straight, put it to zero, you put it straight. But if you move it around, it gives a little razor type of effect. Uh, and I'm sure you know what I'm talking about. And uh, this is just what pulls it in, pulls it out, and are out. You can do a lot of things. Remember, remember, Matrix is like basically what you're going to be using the whole entire time. Uh, maybe not at the beginning, because you're probably going to be using Smooth Shift and uh, extrude inner like I did in the beginning uh, for something so yeah uh, just mess around with these more settings this is what gives it the uh, like the width you can just play around I'm sure you, you'll be able to find out what all this does and uh, this is, doesn't really do anything I actually don't know what it does so this just stays 80 if it's not an 84 you just change it to 80 and uh, yeah so and after that is smooth shift after that, matrix tool, smooth shift, and uh, smooth shift is basically exactly like extrude, but totally different. That sounds pretty weird to say, but as you can see, if I use extrude, extrude tool, hold it out, and go to back to smooth shift, hold it out. It's almost the same exact thing, by only one selected, like, uh, like only by this. But if I were to do something like this, if I were to ext uh, extrude it out, and then click on multiple faces like so, this is how I did my uh, obey, uh, like tech. Uh, outside thing if you go if I, you saw me click on everything on like right here not anything behind it you can see what I clicked on you can see what I did I only extruded out now if I were uh, when I had this all selected and if I were to extrude everything it would just only extrude it and uh, just pull it out how it's supposed to but if you were to smooth shift and do this it gives you a smoother exactly what it says and uh, type of circular type of thing and this is what I did when I did my uh, obey model so people want to ask that that's exactly what I did this is all I did as you can see so uh, yeah extreme shift is totally different when you use more than one uh, selected region as in like selected uh, either have it be in front and the side as in different selected uh, angles I guess you can say hope I didn't lose you there Hopefully I explained it well enough. This is kind of hard to explain. I'm losing my breath. Oh my gosh. All right. So I think I went through all the tools and uh, what they kind of sort of do. Where am I? I'm at nine minutes. All right. So uh, all right. So I have this selected. I'm going to hang go to my matrix. I'm gonna do a model in front of you guys, kind of sort of explaining how I'm doing it. So as you can see, these are my settings when I pulled it out. Let's say if you were to uh, basically you're just like, oh my god, I still don't know how to do this. All right. So right now, go ahead and go to your matrix. Your when you click on matrix, this comes, this is gonna pop up. Go to your scale and change all of these to 80. Change your move to zero. This one also to zero. Move this one to 10. So we're all in the same exact uh, 
place right now. Your steps to six or five. That doesn't matter. So now we're all in the same place. So when you pull it out right here, pull your uh, matrix out, you can see what it did. And now I'm going to change the settings in front of you so you know what I did. All right, so I'm going to kind of sort of pull it, like face it uh, a little bit. It just curved it a little bit. You can see what it did. It just moves it up a little bit. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and go like this. And give it that little, it just widens it. You saw what that did. It just widened it out. And I'm going to go ahead and pull this more. Maybe put this a little bit like that. Maybe he kind of sort of do a little thing. And all right, so I have that and I want that. So I'm going to go ahead and go here, click on this, and click on this and do the little bevel or the little rounded smooth shift tool that I showed you how to do just two seconds ago. When it, uh, click on multiple faces, go ahead and make that. Maybe do it like this. All right. And I'm going to click on this only. And matrix it out. Go ahead and fix this back up again. Hopefully this doesn't touch. Boom, 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 boom. I don't want it to come out that much. There we go. And maybe do this. Uh, a little bit so these are not touching that much and uh, then I'm going to use a little step effect and you can see these little faces are selected I'm gonna go zoom in a little bit so I see when I'm extruding inner ring such a word, uh, and I'm gonna shoot enter this smooth shift it out a little bit shoot enter again this is a little step effect I taught you just not too long ago shoot enter again and boom as you can see, I did the little step effect, and uh, yeah. Now I'm just gonna click on everything on the face. The face is actually like the little circle in the beginning where we started out with. So I'm gonna click on everything on the face except for this one. I'll go ahead and go to matrix, and pull this out. I'm gonna fix these settings real quick, so it doesn't so much overwhelming. Do something like this, maybe make it turn a little bit. Razor effect again, or razors. A little, you know what I'm talking about. I know you know what I'm talking about. And, uh, alright, so before I go too much into it, uh, you can see that there's a little hole in the model. And I didn't tell you to close, I didn't show you how to close that. But, uh, yeah. So if you wanted to close this, all you had to do was click on the inside. Make sure you don't hold shift. If you were holding shift while you're clicking on the inside, everything that was, uh, what you previously did last time was still selected. So make sure you just click on it solo before you start clicking on multiple things. Because then otherwise, if you were to not, and you were to click on everything on the inside and try and close it with uh, smooth shift, and you would try to close it, this this right here is also still moving. So make sure the, uh, only what you want selected is selected. So I'm going to go ahead and click that and then hold shift. And then go to smooth shift. And then close it out. And then I'll go back to matrix click on the inside matrix boom and do that there we go do the extrude inner do this do the same thing I did there and there so I'm gonna stop here uh, I try to use mostly anything mostly everything every one of these tools and uh, you can see what I came out with this is what didn't take that long but you can you're probably gonna be taking longer when you do yours and uh, before I actually end this off I'm gonna show you guys how to color you know what you're gonna be doing like when you put one color on it it doesn't look right so as you can see it just doesn't look cool enough uh, you want to have multiple colors or at least colors uh, in the right places all you're doing is literally this is how I color mine is like I'm just clicking on like holding all right let me explain this right this is weird i'm uh obviously i have the ul tool out and you know what a ul does from the beginning and i'm just holding shift while clicking on some of the parts that i think would look cool if they were selected to maybe skip one or two and do a little pattern type of thing around it 
I don't really show this in the, uh, the end of my speed arts, but this is what exactly what I do. And uh, maybe do this, this, this. A little pattern around it. Boom. And maybe do a color. And boom. Just drag it onto it. Drag it onto like a part that's selected. Don't like drag it like here. Well, you can probably still do it. Never mind. And uh, whatever selected, if you just drag the material you want onto it, it gives you that. And uh, you probably can't really see the color that well until you just click on this little thing right here, and then click on something else besides what's going on, or uh, besides what uh, the besides click on the tube, click on this, and then click on something else, and then you can see like uh, you, know, you can see the color more clearly, and you can just play around, keep on doing that, and uh, that's exactly how I color it, and then just click on other things like this. Let's just click on other. Click on the other part that I skipped for the blue and do probably like a green or something and uh, yeah not that green ugly green there you go so as you can see there you go you get this cool little and uh, yeah you just do multiple colors and uh, all right now I can close it off hopefully you guys learned something hopefully I taught you well enough and most likely I'm gonna be getting questions I'm gonna be answering all of them and uh, hopefully you guys I said hopefully like how many times now jeez and uh yeah see you guys next time i was about to say hopefully again <laughs> oh god and uh yeah i'm signing off now hope you guys had a good tutorial day by me and learned models and stuff and now you're gonna be using them so uh yeah Cecil hq signing off i'll see you guys next time peace